My name is Eric Hanna. I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan in Canada. And in 2009, I joined the Society of Jesus as a novice. Well, we're here in Kingston, Jamaica, and this is Campion College. It's one of the oldest uh, high schools in Jamaica. It was founded by the Jesuits, and the Jesuits still live and work here at the Campion community. I am teaching Christian living, and um, that is the religion course here in Jamaica. And uh, it's a Catholic religion course, but I have to accommodate all sorts of different faith traditions because Catholicism is the minority religion in Jamaica. There's about 10% of my class that is Catholic. And most of the class is uh, Protestant or some other denomination of Christianity. And there are a few people like uh, every normal teenager is struggling with their faith. They're not sure if they're agnostic or atheist. And it's good to have a dialogue with those uh, students as well. And in the religion class, I teach mostly fifth form which is uh, like the 12th grade in Canada. And I'm teaching social justice. So uh, the first thing I do is I try and educate about the, the social teaching of the church. I try and discover what some of the social justice issues are and get us thinking in terms of uh, who are we as Christians and how do we respond to the problems in the world, uh, poverty, and political unrest and all these things. And uh, we have some interesting discussions uh, about uh, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the Jamaican context, what's the, uh, the life like in all the different corners of society. And uh, I got a lot of interesting information from the students about uh, what their concerns are and what they think is fair, what they think is not fair. And uh, in high school, People have wonderful optimism about changing the world and making it a better place, looking for greater justice. So it's a great pleasure. How do I get students interested in justice issues? Well, through trial and error, I tried to figure out uh, what was the best way to get students interested. and. Uh, one of the first things I learned about teaching is that I have to be interested in order to expect the students to be interested. So what do I like? I like superheroes. So uh, I said to the class, I do not want to know what the textbook tells you about justice. And I do not want you to tell me what you think about justice. I want you to close your eyes and use your imagination and pretend that you are Batman. And as Batman, Tell me what you think justice is. Tell me what Batman thinks justice is. And we started at that level of abstraction. They laughed. It was funny. We did that with Superman and Batman. And then we contrasted their different views of justice, supporting the law, doing what's right, getting good results even if you do bad things. And this started opening up our more abstract philosophical discussion of what justice could be and uh, how we enact it in the world. But everyone was eagerly leaning forward, and I got six hands eagerly trying to explain to me what justice was, and uh, I was pleased as much. Okay. So what is the long experiment? Uh, the long experiment is part of my training as a novice. So the, you, in the Society of Jesus, you become a novice for two years, and it's part of your training. And at the end of the two years, uh, God willing, I'll be able to take my vows. Um, so part of that is uh, growing aware of what the vows are and learning about them and sort of uh, incorporating them into my personality and the way I do things. And uh, one of the best ways of doing that is being sent, as a Jesuit is sent, into another culture, into another context, and uh, working and living uh, like a Jesuit does. So in this case, uh, I grew up in the cultural context of Regina, Saskatchewan, in Canada. And now I'm in Kingston, Jamaica, where I'm teaching at a high school and uh, working as a Jesuit here. Uh, so my long experiment will last for four months. I got here in January, and I'll be leaving at the end of May. And uh, I'm already learning quite a lot. Uh, I've been sent. 
and that's the thing with uh, Jesuit life. We don't pick where we get to go. We're sent uh, in a process of discernment where the superior looks at my skills and talents and areas where I need to grow. And uh, he tries to come up with uh, a place and a type of work that will give me the best opportunity to learn and grow. And in another sense, uh, we're all sent in our vocation. Uh, God invites us to a place where we can uh, learn to find him and depend on him in new ways. So in that sense, I'm learning about being in a different culture, and I'm learning about being a teacher, and I'm learning a bit more what it means to be a Jesuit. So this is about the community here. I'm very happy and uh, lucky to be part of this particular Jesuit community in Jamaica. I'm living uh, at a house very close to the school, but uh, separate so I can escape the hustle and bustle of the school. And it's called Patrick House, and there's about seven Jesuits, myself included. And uh, I've been very grateful to them because they've made me feel quite welcome and quite at home. Uh, but I've noticed the difference between being a, a, a guest at a Jesuit house and being a resident at a Jesuit house. <laughs> guest is a little more formal and there's a lot more effort to uh, show you around and show you things, but I uh, feel like I'm at my home, I'm at my own community, I'm a resident here, so I do a lot of things for myself, but I also uh, am free to be myself and to share my view and be really part of the community, and I'm very grateful to the members here for being themselves, uh, even showing a few of their eccentricities, and I show a few of my eccentricities, and we all get along very well. Um, so, we have a different mix of cultures. We have one candidate who's from Guyana, uh, another Caribbean island close by, and we have uh, a Tertian who is um, from uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> And we also have uh, the superior of the community, who is uh, from Jamaica. And the rest of the members of the community are uh, older uh, Jesuits, who have spent most of their lives in this country, though they originally came from uh, New England. And they have uh, really sort of uh, taught me a lot about the Jamaican culture, because they've really become a part of it. They care a lot about the Jamaican news and uh, the current events and uh, the culture and the people and they're very much steeped in the milieu here. So they're able to sort of tell me a lot about what's going on. And uh, all of the members of the community uh, have their own way of doing things, but there's a, a wonderful sense that we're all Jesuits together, we're all moving towards the same goal.